Do you love Warhammer, but wish it had a less accessible player base? Maybe one primarily consisting of men in their late 50s who died in the year 2010? Well, boy howdy do, I have a game for you. Today we're going to be painting an orc boar chariot, or maybe two, I haven't decided, they're not done yet. Alright, probably will make it, just one. Well, it's just going to be one, I have too many deafling to paint, it's just one. Today we're going to be painting a single orc boar chariot. First you gotta find your bag of broken orc stuff that you've been ignoring under your TV stand for years. Fix said chariot, de-dust, and then let the cold weight of time just bear on your soul for a little bit and internalize how long it's really been. Next, it's time to build a whimsical pumpkin cart and try and forget all about that as best as you can. Do not finish the pumpkin cart, like just start it and let it burn out before reaching its full potential. Next, it's time to make a weird aside in your car. I haven't looked at this footage since I filmed it. Oh god, here we go. Hi, my name is Tyler Russo and this is how to paint an orc board chariot outside of your friend's therapist's office. Office. First step is to forget the memory card for your actual camera. So it's just uh, sitting here is a stupid prop. You have to film everything on your phone. The second part is to try not get too self-conscious as people walk past you. Crawl back into the end of your trunk. Retrieve the orc board chariot and prepared painting supplies. Fuck. Okay, there we go. You need your chariot. Um your water and then all the paints that you packed very hastily and are now lopsided. Next you're uh, gonna want to get your uh, airbrush compressor. Put up some newspapers on your lap I guess. I don't know. I put I put almost no thought into it. I just thought it'd be funny to paint in my car. Here to cover the steering wheel. Or at least attempt to and then maybe give up. Yeah, give up. Sure to fasten your seatbelt. Attach your airbrush compressor to your 300 watt uh, silent power inverter. Turn that bad boy on. Oh fuck, it's not working. God damn it. Well, <laughs> is that the end of the video? The whole point was the airbrush in the car. God damn it. Oh, I just had to start my engine, it works now. I'm gonna try and make this step quick because you'll burn a lot of gas otherwise. Okay. Uh, I accidentally honk the horn. Okay. There we go. Got that. And this. Nice. The next step is to uh, hope that the man who just parked behind you doesn't idle in his car for a long time, too. Uh, otherwise, it'll be very awkward. Just sitting here with your engine on, trying to paint Warhammer. He doesn't know that. Turn on the compressor. Uh, this is gonna be really hard. Filming with one hand is not a difficulty you expect it to encounter. Oh man, I should really uh, roll out the windows more. First time I've opened the roof window in a long time. Uh, it's it's a clean airbrush. Your arid earth and uh, mix it with a little thinner so you can make a xenophile highlight. Your paint all mix, just start highlighting. Here we go. Just keep doing that one-handed. Oh, those are the highlights. We're applying them. Oh, I never realized you could zoom like that on an iPhone. That's pretty crazy. Look, I mean, you can't see the interface of my phone. There's like a little zoom toggle. It's like a wheel that pops up. That's sick. Look, incredible. Incredible. Fuck, there's always a mold line I forgot to fill. There's always a gap I forgot the green stuff. Any green stuff in the car, otherwise I would just fix it here. Do you ever just think about your life compared to those around you and how different it is? Like me versus this lady who just walked by off a baby carriage and clearly saw me airbrushing in my car. Like, what, is, what does she think is going on here? What is her life like? Oh no, there's someone else. Don't mind me, sir. Just uh, priming an orc porch area. I haven't filled them, but... There's for sure been a lot of people have walked by and we're just like, what the fuck is going on? There's papers everywhere, there's a camera. Which the compressor's very fucking loud. What a great day. Um, I was feeling kind of dehydrated and I was like, damn, I really wish I had some water to drink. Uh, too bad all I have is this paint water if it's perfectly clean and actually filtered and uh, in this nice cup that's not filled with paint at all. And uh, yeah, it took me a full two minutes to process that. That's water I could be drinking and not just using to clean off brush tips. Wash off the paintbrush. We're gonna start off with work flesh contrast paint, I guess, because I forgot uh, the color I wanted to use in the chariot itself, which is what I would normally do otherwise. Shake the bad boy up or, I don't know. Are you supposed to shake contrast paints? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know very little about these. I can never use them. It makes a satisfying pop. Yeah. Time to reach into your trunk to find a brush without knocking everything over somehow. Yeah, now I just have to find a way to balance the paint pot without spilling it everywhere. Oh god, this is a dangerous game. I guess here's good, maybe. That's fine. Yeah, sure, fuck it, whatever, that's fine. We're good. Okay, get your work flesh. 
Wait for his man to pass. And... Fuck, that was loud. That guy's going fast. This is a residential street. And yeah, it's kind of go for Oh, it's not enough. Right, this is really dried out. Let's kind of go for it, you know? <laughs> it's sloppy as shit. I cannot do this one-handed. Okay, the orcs are green, or green enough. It's very sloppy. We'll touch them up later. Once the pedestrians have walked past, base coat the boars with a black templar. Or should I do one black boar, one brown boar? I don't know. Maybe I'll do different. I'll just do one boar for now. Uh, to be clear, I'm in the car because I'm waiting for them to get out so I can give them a ride home. I'm not just hanging out here for no reason. A lot of UPS trucks on this street. Do you think there's any Blade Guard veterans in that truck I could buy off of him? Paint pots are so bad. Even the contrast paint won't close completely anymore. Sometimes therapy ends at 5, not 5.15, and you lose track of time and forget. When they come back to the car, uh, there's still a newspaper, orcs, and paint everywhere. This is all of the chariot we're painting for today. Uh, Thanks for coming, everyone. Hello, everyone. A package from Dana just got here, and we're gonna go see what it is. Hope the air conditioning's not too loud again. How about we just do it in the room without air conditioning? Oh, <laughs> uh, the, the first step is to not dox Dana or your fuck. My uh, address is right in frame. Hold on. You to almost cut yourself when opening the box at the exact time. But not quite. Just enough that you remember what it feels like to be like, fuck, there's a little scroll. Hold it. How very empire is here. Oh man, cursive? Dearest Big Boss Ham Bones. That's me. Uh, we thank you for your donation of extra gets, but I think you'll... I'm reading this on my phone and not the actual letter. It's annoying. Wait, let me just stop looking at my phone for a second. But I think you will find that we have plenty of ammunition to wipe... Swipe? Wipe you and your... Tiny, tiny horde of rabble rousers. Sorry, I've never read cursive off the map. However, just to make sure it's a fair scrap, here's a few boys, spelled hopefully with a Z, I can't tell, for you as well. Make use of them as you will. Exclamation point. I wasn't looking at my phone, I don't know if that was in frame. Sincerely. The uh, Empire person. Oh, it's written in normal text down below. La Cidiana von Holtz the Third, Captain of the Howl City Irregulars. Sounds pretty fancy. Um, oh shit, there's a nice little drawing of it. Wow, that's so cool. Thank you, Dana. Uh, I'm sure Hambones will be very pleased. I will uh, be sure to let him know. Oh man, off the bat. Damn, this is sick. This is like one of my favorite bits of all time. Fuck, I can't, man, I can't wait to use this. Now I just want to start the next video after and not finish the chariot. I got another one. <laughs> Holy shit. Is there a, oh my god, don't dox anyone time. You fucking idiot. Oh my god, it's a boy tube. I didn't look closely enough at it. Damn, this is a straight up tube of boys. Look at that. Look at those boys in the tube. Oh, this is my plant, Magnus. Uh, Magnus, the uh, snake plant. Uh, he's new. What? Free blue tech? Orange tech? Free orange tag. Free boy, free orange tag. This is, man, this rules. So they kept making new Warhammer models after these came out. Nothing gets better than this. Zillary boy tube here, which I will keep in its present packaging so that I don't lose them later. I got, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of boy tubes. Look at that. I got the wide angle lens so you can see all the tubes at once. You get a boy tube. And you get a boy tube. <laughs> One more boy tube. That's... Uh, some large quantity. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Some large number of boy tubes. Thank you so much, Dana. We're gonna save that for our next video, but I'm very excited about them and want to open them now. Well, the momentum is fresh. So I took a break from painting boars to uh, paint an entire 2,000 point Deathwing army for a tournament that just finished. Uh, there will be a video about this in the near future. It took, I think, like three and a half days total to paint them and a lot longer to assemble them. Uh, yeah, so that's coming up. I uh, hope this isn't too much of a spoiler, but yeah, uh, they're done-ish, and now it's it's back to boars, baby. Okay, so the tournament's done. Uh, I've slept a little, and now we're done base coating the boar chariot. The boar chariot. Uh, yep, that's it. I'm running out of things to say in these. Uh, <laughs> I've told everyone everything I know about mini painting. Uh, so now it's just me trying to be funny and come up with weird bits and uh, just anything to fill the deafening silence. Contrast paints are weird. 
I hate, like, base coding over after I, uh, like, fuck up little sections. Someday you'll get a game in, buddy. Maybe I'll probably play fantasy if uh, at least one other person in the world is willing to. After uh, base coding the skin of contrast paint, it's important to take a depression nap and leave your coffee out and have all the ice melt by the time you wake up. I love skeleton alerts, so make sure to place them in the background while your first layer of wash is drying to get them through this difficult time. Uh, just like work Slip Skeleton Witch. I love not having my channel taken down because there's copyrighted music playing in the background. And uh, I'm hoping it doesn't happen because it's in the background and not directly in the video. But uh, in case you're listening, algorithm gods, please don't destroy me. Step is to uh, take a four hour sushi and Hearthstone break. And then uh, you're gonna wanna get your tequila, Mountain Dew Zero, um, and uh, water. I thought for years, someone in a game store when I was like uh, 11 told me that Red 40 was made out of Beatles, and I've just been assuming that for uh, <laughs> 17 years now. Um, yeah, uh, I just looked it up, and it's not. That used to be the case for a lot of red dyes, but not specifically Red 40. Although it is linked to uh, higher brain activity in teenagers, but not in a good way. It'll explain a lot. Sorry, I forgot this was a painting video. Um, so one good thing about uh, the contrast paints is that uh, even when you don't shake them well enough and they look kind of shitty, you're still base coated. Uh, you've still base coated the model, and uh, you can highlight right on top of that, which is probably going to do for most of this army. Because I want it to look a little nicer uh, since. It's mostly a showcase army, not something I'm actually planning on playing with that much. I mean, it looks a little far off from finish now just because uh, it's pretty basic, but highlighting is always a stage that like uh, takes the least amount of time and is the most fun. So I'm excited to relax. I'm pretty torn on what shade of uh, green to use to highlight the skin. Um, I forgot goblin green can be used for anything besides bases, and I kind of want to do that because I don't think I'm going to do goblin green bases. Uh, just because this dude, he's a little more... Uh, He's like a 6th edition model, which is uh, distinctly like the brown baser of Warhammer, and I want to pay respect to that. Um, but yeah, looking at this magazine, I feel like this orc skin here is a lot closer to this uh, light green Vallejo color I have. And yeah, I don't know, man. I'm pretty torn. Who am I kidding? How could I not go with goblin green? I paint so much goblin green on the skin that it basically defeats any point of having done a contrast paint base coat. Uh, we're just looking at pure goblin green now. Uh, might as well just do that in the future first next time. And next, I'm gonna wash it with maybe Beal Tan Green, because that's what I own, and do some highlights, and I'll check back in after that. Mix the Goblin Green with a little Arid Earth to add some highlights you can barely see, and then I got a little flock in the paint that fell off the base, because this happens every time I paint, and I will never learn. So I added a bunch of brown enamel paint, because it's something I always do uh, on every model, regardless if it's necessary or not. But yeah, I mixed the Metal Pop, put it in some of this leathery, area too um to just bring out the shadows add some ambient occlusion in there uh, the skin was washed with a little brown to make it have a, more of an just a mono green consistency uh as much as i like how that looks i don't know i was feeling keeping it real with these boys i want to add some pigment to their skin yeah and then the same with the wood just like shadows recessed areas and next after this dries i'm gonna do a little dry brushing base it and then we might be good uh someday i want to do a big custom fly for right here but um this video is due tomorrow and it's like 11 p.m so uh i think i'm gonna have to wait on that uh plus i have to edit this tonight yep uh too many dark angels this weekend we're really behind schedule uh that video which i guess is now coming after this one uh, even though that wasn't the initial intent uh will be up at some point soon i hope soon i hope oh my god it's pink it's pink the mountain dew i've been drinking this whole time is pink it was down on the lip yeah i didn't know how would i have known the color oh it does have red 40 and i guess that should have been a giveaway pink mountain dew look at that beautiful cheers to you mr work and you mr and mrs pig or mr and mr pig i don't know are they friends are they married do they have separate relationships maybe just two buds maybe they're dating i don't know do you guys think these pigs should be dating um well either way cheers uh do you uh the orcs who drive the chariot and you're gay pigs the dry brushing is done and my spotify playlist is looping through the skeleton witch song for the third time tonight looked a little dusty in some areas so i gave it a little bit of a wash after particularly the red um i just did a wash of word bearers red because it's uh, a relatively muted here do i have it yeah here it is 
Um, yeah, it's a like muted non-saturated red, which I think I like better on this model. Uh, gonna do some details and touch-ups and then edit this whole video. So I painted the eyes, touch up the rest of the card. We added some decorative elements to the base. I used too many different kinds of flock as per usual. And now the last step is just to spend three hours deciding what color to paint the base room. And we'll be done at 4 a.m. And that's it. Thanks for coming. Uh, if you're a regular viewer, thanks for still being here. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, we also have a very active Discord. I'll put a link in the video description. And I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. Uh, here's a list of all the Patreons. The, patron, the patrons that are currently patrons. Uh, yeah, thanks for supporting me. I appreciate it a lot, as always, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.